Hello everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Toro Messages. This is our first nighttime reading, okay? I felt the urge to do it, so I'm here. Alright, let's see what spirit has to tell us. I'm not gonna put um any direction in this. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff, see what comes up. Alright, this is it'll be what it is. Let's see. What's going on here? What do you have to tell us for what do you have to tell us, Virgos? Okay, let's start with that. Spirit, so what do you have to tell us, Virgos? Wish fulfilled came out. Mm. Do you have to tell our guys? <laughs> Good news, celebrate, okay? What do you have to tell our guys? Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> there it is. Caught screenshot receipts, okay? I'll take those three. You know what? I got the inclination to do another one. So we're going to do another one. One more for the Virgos. What do you have to tell us? Wish fulfilled. Celebrate. Catch. Caught. Screenshot. Deceit. And then we have dysfunctional home and energy vampire. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can pull here for the Virgos. Let's try some moonology. What's this wish fulfillment coming in for the Virgos? Wish fulfillment for the Virgos here. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment for the Virgos. Wow. Two one is to come out. Confidence is your key to success and believe in the impossible. Okay, there might be something you are trying to um, succeed in here. I feel like if you have the confidence, spirit is backing you up with this. They're telling you believe in the possible because your wishes are going to be fulfilled here. We'll clarify more. Okay. Um, what is the celebration of life, birth right here? Good news. For the first house. What is the celebration? Two again. We got conclusions are within reach, full moon. Eclipse and prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Okay, so that one was a new moon in Leo. New moon in Taurus coming up. Hmm. I'm really thinking with the conclusions. I feel like um, this wish fulfillment, this thing will help you bring about a type of new life it's saying. It's almost saying this wish fulfillment is going to come in is going to help bring conclusions into your life and be able to start this new life i'm, I'm not getting pregnancy here but um if you if you don't want to get pregnant strap up <laughs> um okay let's let's ask a question first would you tell me about the screenshot caught here for the virgo screenshot receipt caught what is this about This is about screenshot caught. We got luck is on your side. Hmm. Okay, new moon in Sagittarius. Okay, with the caught new moon inside screenshot receipt, it's almost like you might get get a picture. You might get, you know what I mean, like a divine download. Um, you might get mm, some type of message, incoming message. I'm getting with the luck. It's like a lucky message here. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. It could be definitely a receipt to like a lottery ticket, receipt to something, some luck. Okay. Um, what the, what's going on here with the energy and vampire and the dysfunctional home for Virgos? Y'all, dysfunctional home has been coming out a lot for the Virgos. Um, end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? That's what I love to see on top of that energy. New full moon in Capricorn. So we got Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Capricorn here. I see, Virgo, that you are having some type of wish fulfillment that is going to bring about some luck on your side, be able to close conclusions, and I'm guessing it's in this um, dysfunctional family here with this energy vampire. You'll be able to hit him with the twos <laughs> and end a rough cycle you've been having with this person. And with the luck on your side, baby, prosperity. Okay, so let's get some love oracles. Actually, let's let's pull some Toro. I kind of want to see if this is even love right here. Okay, let's ask first before we just assume it's love, right? What's this wish fulfillment for Virgo? 
Believe in the impossible wish fulfillment for Virgo. Hmm. I'm excited, y'all. I don't know why. It's the energy here. I love seeing all this here. What's this energy? Look, celebration, victory. Okay. Okay. So what is this confidence and it's key to your success? Believe in the impossible wish fulfillment for the Virgos. Spirit. Ooh, the star and six of pentacles. Virgo. Okay, with the star, first of all, coming out, we don't have Aquarius up here, but okay we have aquarius now but um honey with the star wish fulfillment believe in the impossible if you want to be doing something that puts you in the public eye 555 five, five, when i said that change is all around okay if you want to do something in the public eye here um be sort of some sort of celebrity here i see the star card as like career success in a um celebrity based job you feel me but it could also be just being a star in your career um getting a wish fulfillment or some type of healing coming into your life or some type of wish fulfillment that's gonna bring healing it's gonna give equal give and take here okay what is this about for the virgos what's gonna come in as a wish fulfillment what's gonna come in as a wish fulfillment okay we have the three of cups the knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles child With this nine of wands at the bottom. Hold on one more time. What is this about for Virgos? The chariot. Forward movement. It's about forward movement. Okay. Forward movement into what, honey? The devil. It didn't actually come out. It just flipped over. Forward movement into ten of cups. Oh my goodness, y'all. Eight of wands with... Um, the communication that devil could definitely become capricorn energy you already have capricorn out on the board if you're messing with the capricorn here or somebody is obsessed okay and they wanted to peek out there Rawr. anyways <laughs> i don't know where this is going y'all nighttime read here we are but with the three of cups the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles the chariot and the ten of cups i can see this is some sort of reunion here with the three of cups this could be some sort of family gathering here um some sort of reunion some sort of investment almost here uh, okay so with the three of cups you could be having some reunion with somebody who wants to invest here in some type of legacy with you have forward movement into a happy healthy stable home here or i can read this as you doing some type of um, reunion with your family maybe moving back in with the family celebrating with the family about your success and your equal give and take here investing in your ten of pentacles and only having forward movement in what brings you happiness what brings you success here that's what i get for the wish fulfillment so we're not going to pull any love oracles for that we're going to move right along with is birth conclusions are in reach here birth conclusions are in reach pull some tarot let's see what this is about let's see let's see let's see okay baby i'm loving the energy now conclusions are within reach okay five of swords conclusions are in reach prosperity lies ahead new life new birth the sun y'all okay the moon the sun and the moon my goodness three of cups with the knight of cups y'all the pull at the bottom um chat there is definitely somebody here that is coming after you over here okay <laughs> okay so with the conclusion or conclusions are within reach prosperity lies ahead this life birth card i feel like virgo you are um really fighting okay i'm gonna read this a couple ways you are really fighting to get out of this mental prison that you have put yourself in there have been some type of um bondage stuck energy stagnant energy here that's kept you in tension fear conflict okay 
um, feeling like you're trapped, suffocated, and bothered here. But I feel like you are going to fight. You're going to really fight to get out of this situation. I feel like um, you're with the, the sun card and the moon that you were, you got clarity. Something was illuminated to you here and it brought some type of happiness, okay? And it could have been something that brought you enough happiness, enough clarity, enough truth to fight being stuck in a mental prison with somebody here. You actually put a conclusion on the situation, okay? Well, with this three of cups here and the nine of wands, I can see you celebrating, okay? I'm gonna read this a couple ways. I can see you celebrating this good news of getting away from this person and being going out on the dating scene here. Or at the three of cups, there could be some type of reunion coming in for you. Somebody from your past might want to come and have some type of reconciliation here and offer their little knight of cups here okay okay and i can read that as um you may have put a conclusion to a situation look for the prize um prosperity ahead you're celebrating life and then boom this person comes in puts you inside of some mental prison you want to fight this because you have clarity on what was hidden before because you have clarity on um the illusions in the situation but this person still wants to reconcile here and offer their cup of love since love is here it peaked his head out baby we gonna um pull some love oracles okay let's see this conclusion lies ahead wait i don't want to forget what the cards were Look, the devil was right there too, y'all. I kid you not. Okay. We have the eight, the fire, the sun, and the moon. Three and the knight of cups. And right after that was the devil just sitting there. I told you they want to peek. Look. Told you they want to peek. And you, I, it's somebody you close the cycle out with. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Some high priestess. So you know about this person. You, you know this person might be trying to manifest you. But it could be a Gemini here. Mm, tower moment mm -mm, girl i already know i already know i'm not gonna like this okay conclusions are in reese prosperity lies ahead what's this what's this prosperity that's lying ahead in this um knight of cups here I, actually who is this knight of cups what's this knight of cups situation for the virgos knight of cups situation for the virgos after they prosperity they already reach conclusions Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Uh-uh, child. Healing family issues. Your life benefits as you forgive your parents. You know what? I hate, I don't like this card here. Keep an open mind. They may differ. Because that really, like, leaves the door open for um you step it outside of what you're comfortable with if you, this person is a liar cheater <laughs> and you, they want you to keep an open mind uh -uh, it's like y'all to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to play and have fun shine here okay but who is this knight of cups soulmate guess this is your soulmate mm. okay Religious factors. Uh-huh. Who is the soulmate here for the Virgos? Want to offer their Nine of Cups and reconcile when Virgos are doing good, celebrating their lives. There you put conclusions on this person. Ended out a cycle with this so-called soulmate. Who is this person? We got swords and roses. Clarity, truth, revelation. Uh, here you go. Get the truth about this. There it is again. Reminiscing, keepsake, possession. And then we got screenshots here. It's almost like y'all maybe both um, looking at each other's memories. Both reminiscing here. Definitely broke your heart. Separation, grieving, more. Okay, this is definitely somebody you put a conclusion on. You ended things here. Let's see if we can get a zodiac sign, y'all. Because um, <laughs> we got North Node. Then we got Full Moon in Virgo. Look, I want us to say Gemini. I don't know why. But Virgo popped out. And then we have Cancer. One more. One more for the one more. There it is. Then we have Pisces, okay? Okay. Let's just tap into the rest of this. What is this? Luck is on your side here. Luck is on your side. Screenshot caught. Luck is on your side. Screenshot caught for Virgos, please. The Virgos, please. Judgment here. Definitely a person who wants some type of re reconciliation. This person won't go away. Um, 
clock is on your side. I know um, this ain't my energy because, girl, y'all girl a hermit, okay? <laughs> You'll go over here doing four swords and rest. <laughs> okay. Look, the devil again. You just want to be here, y'all. Um, With the four of swords here, luck is on your side. What is this about, Virgo? Screenshot. Screenshot. Luck is on your side. Nine of cups. Okay, Virgo, there may have been something that you put to rest, okay? Something that was your wish fulfillment here. That you put it to rest here. Um, this thing could have been some type of childhood um, hobby, some type of passion, some type of thing that you started, okay? You started this thing, but then you, put, you gave it some type of rest. You took some rest from this, but it's almost like you know that um there's like this higher knowing that this is still something that you want to continue with this cycle or you'll have luck in it or spirits trying to tell you that you will have luck in this cycle with the luck on your um luck on your side screen shot capture okay it could be taking pictures it could be something where you're recording it's some it could be something where you're um with the hand here giving some type of receipt giving it uh, giving something to somebody writing scripting here this could be any type of passion here you might like taking pictures of yourself you like might like recording yourself okay i feel like this endeavor that gave you some type of wish fulfillment that you took a rest from you have this higher knowing that you need to get back to it that you need to put that energy into it and i feel like if you do there's going to be luck and prosperity on your side boo boo okay all right let's see what this um in a tough cycle is and let's end this out okay Okay, and enough to cycle for the Virgos with this um, family vampire here. And enough to cycle there it is, y'all. Uh, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. I'm not sure which way it is, but there is definitely somebody in your motherfucking energy with this um, vampire energy. This person is um, radically focused here. You see how hard he's staring at that sword? Okay, why are you looking at the sword like that, sir? excuse me it's because he's radically focused um really obsessed here with their queen of pentacles energy i'm guessing that is you virgo um this person really with the vampire energy i feel like they have some type of <laughs> entity um attachment where they need your energy because you may be of this high vibrational light spiritual person and you know when you aren't you need to suck that energy you need to pull from a resource pure um empath narcissist kind of scenario here i don't know why i said that y'all i'm getting deep okay it's two cards um <laughs> can you tell our burgers about this dysfunctional home i'm really pulling the energy you are you're about to end a tough cycle with this person. You may be in some type of indecision about what you should do to get away or in an indecision of um, if you should start with this new love or offer this love to this situation because you've been working very hard. This is something that you've worked hard on. You've invested time. It's turned into a tree. It's almost fruited, but it's like you're not getting the fruit that you want off of all of your labor. So is it worth it? Okay, what's going on here for this um, end of a tough cycle here? dysfunctional home energy vampire for virgo there it is ten of cups here at the bottom we got the six of pentacles yeah the, you really are in indecision about if you want to offer your love here and work on something and have an equal give and take with something that you have already closed out the cycle is already done you've already seen and felt the dysfunction is here you know that you need to bring it um into the cycle and you're about to okay with the world i see you have learned all your lessons you can learn from this karmic okay and with this hermit mode i feel like you have really detached from this person you've really gone into deep hermit mode hit them with the twos and um put your hoodie on and <laughs> really went away just just went away to go and contemplate your life baby see what you need to do to get up out of here this person still wants to give you an apology they still want to give you a gift they still want to offer their cup here especially with the ace of cups and one cup plus one cup they think you're some type of duality here but um with the eight of cups here i see you ultimately walking away from this person okay ending this tough cycle with this person and after they end this tough cycle what can virgo look forward to after 
to end this tough cycle with this person what can virgo look forward to the magician y'all what can virgo look forward to after she he ends a tough cycle with this karmic Look, Five of Wands was in the reverse here. What can Virgo look forward to? One more. What can Virgo look forward to? <laughs> Baby, there's more than one. Okay. With the Princess of Swords here. There's definitely somebody here watching, lurking, lurking, and watching. Watching and lurking. Okay. We're starting off with the Magician. So I feel like after this tough cycle, you will be in type of some type of Magician energy here. Able to manifest. Okay. Able to manifest um, the th things that you want. Because sometimes people don't realize you cannot manifest around low vibrational entities. If they are not supposed to be there with you, why would they let you manifest that bliss and with that person? Okay, so I feel like after you close out this cycle, your manifestations, baby, what you plan, what you plan. Wait, no, we're going backwards here, okay? Let's feel like with the five of wands in the reverse here, I feel like that's really signifying that you will avoid conflict. Um, That while everything that you will manifest will happen without conflict you feel me it will happen without barriers it will happen without child you'll be able to manifest easily here is what i'm trying to say with this knight of pentacles and the sun i feel like everything that you fucking invest in after you walk away from this person will come out with happiness success and child anyways happiness and, and success here when with the knight of cups and the two of wands i can really see that as the universe giving you offering you everything that you plan everything that you were everything that she was manifesting that you were scripting out that you were planning here this is beautiful this is beautiful for the virgos let's end it with some oracles to look forward to and let's uh let's close this one out okay i want to thank everybody for watching everybody for subscribing third party wanted to come out hearts okay um i can also read this hold on y'all i can also read this as uh, a magician that wants to manifest you back here they don't want to fight they don't want to have conflict they have clarity on the truth and what the truth is is that they want to offer their love to you baby and they've been planning this for a while and i feel like that is that person who just keeps um I'm poking their head out child they just hear okay they wanted me to say that so i'm gonna say it okay we're moving on oracles to end this out there's some type of third party situation it could have been in some type of dysfunctional home situation for you virgo some oracles to end this out look at this i'm telling you addiction and five stage five clinger i'm telling you there's a person who keeps peeking they um they planning and they they hear they want they planning they manifest and they they um really ain't giving up here they may have had a third party situation on you um they may have shown their addictions and shown that they were a stage five clinger and you had to leave this person alone but they are still here with the codependent c bay bay okay <laughs> Uh, what do you have to tell Virgos? Let's end this out, please. What a good note. Okay, after they um, get away from this person. Parent child. Y'all. Y'all. Now, you remember what I said. The life celebration. Parent child. Okay, if you don't want to have a baby, strap it up. This person may come back. They may say they may have a baby now. After they came back, they're planning a girl aquarius could be involved girl if this baby if this boy come back with a baby divine union if this boy come back with a baby i love you i hate you at the bottom if this boy come back from a baby talk about divine union okay anyways i can read that a couple ways maybe you're a single parent here okay maybe you're a single mom single dad Maybe this person ain't gonna come back with a baby, but take it as it resonates, y'all. There is some type of definite, like, divine union coming up for you and your future to look forward to. So, celebrate that good news, okay? Focus on your wish fulfillment and getting away from this dysfunctional family with a third parte, okay? That's what I got for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel down below. And, you know, thank you for watching.